We have one of those stories that really feels like it should be satire. Kamala Harris will be joining Bill Clinton to discuss women's empowerment at a Clinton Global Initiative event. Bill Clinton, who stands credibly accused of rape by numerous women, sexual misconduct by numerous women. Bill Clinton, who's accused of being at Jeffrey Epstein's island and has been photographed, as we'll get to later here, with one of Epstein's accusers. This is the man that they prop up for women's empowerment. Bill Clinton, who opposed socioeconomic policy that would have disproportionately helped women. Bill Clinton, who, who drained welfare, which disproportionately helped women. This is the person that they prop up. Uh, why, why not ask ExxonMobil what they think about climate change or the Klan what they think about racism or the Catholic Church with their views on LGBT rights? I mean, what the fuck is this? This is ridiculous. Completely and utterly ridiculous. I have a tweet here from Christopher Catalago. He works for Politico. Kamala Harris will go one-on-one -on -one with Bill Clinton on Friday to talk about the impact of COVID-19 on women and empowering women and girls in the U.S. and around the world as part of a Clinton Global Initiative event. It, this is just, this. I mean, the Onion must look at this and go, what the fuck are we supposed to do? I want to show you guys a few of my favorite replies here. A racist and a cop. Two types of people really known for checks notes, empowering women, and then a bunch of clown emojis. Twitter would not let you do enough clown emojis. Yeah, cops who, who abuse their spouses at a significantly higher rate than other citizens. These, the, Kamal Harris, obviously, cop. <laughs> and a rapist. Let, let's pick those individuals to prop up in the context of women's empowerment. Another reply here. Maybe she can chortle while she asks Bill Clinton about his welfare reform bill, which drove millions of women and children deeper into poverty. Brilliant response. Another one here. Followed by Harvey Weinstein discussing women in the workplace. <laughs> and then a response to that. Followed by Anthony Weiner to discuss youth outreach. <laughs> that one particular hits kind of home particularly because uh, Harvey Weinstein actually went on MSNBC before all of his dirty laundry came out and accused Bernie of misogyny and his supporters. Maybe it was Bernie's supporters of misogyny. But in either case, oh, the irony is juicy. MSNBC actually had an abuser on to accuse Bernie Sanders. I mean, it's just, you can't make this shit up. And the last response I want to show you guys. Yes, Bill loves to empower girls. And then it's a picture of one of Epstein's accusers massaging Bill Clinton. So this, like I said, you guys, this just, it reads like satire. The Democrats... It was somewhere between or some combination of can't read a room and choose not to choose to empower um, the Clintons choose to try to rehabilitate their image rather than take what is even even in this case the brazenly politically expedient route which is to distance yourself from the Clintons nobody likes the Clintons except for partisan Democrats the, the only people you appeal to by propping up the Clintons are the people that you do not need to appeal to. It is the most absurd political strategy. And that's, that's really the point. It's not a political strategy. It's narcissism. That's what this is. The Democratic Party is revealing their elitism, their narcissism, their self-aggrandizing behavior. The, this is what it's all really about to them. This is what the power means to them. It's being in the elite circles. It's getting invited to the Hampton dinners. It's having the media give a shit about you. This is what they care about. So when it comes to the Clintons being absolutely despised and rightly so for a whole plethora of things... The Democrats just can't accept that and take the politically expedient route. Let them retire, separate yourselves from them. They can't do it because they're just too narcissistic and too like it's all about the personality and, and, and the, you know, it's like it's a cult of personality is really what it is that are all after power. And this is the, the result that you get is is a party that will prop up an abuser in the context of, of women's empowerment. A party that will prop up a rapist, a rapist in the context of women's empowerment. You cannot make up a more egregious example of, of hypocrisy than what Kamala Harris is about to do on Friday.